ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার শো ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আনন্দে আনন্দে ইংরেজি শিক্ষার অনুষ্ঠান হচ্ছে ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আর টিভি এবং ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার যৌথ উদ্যোগে স্কুল ভিত্তিক ইংরেজি শিক্ষার এই অনুষ্ঠানে আপনাদের সাথে আছি বরাবরের মতোই আমি মাসুক সিদ্দি মূলত বাংলাদেশের স্কুল পর্যায়ের শিক্ষার্থীদের মাঝে আমেরিকান ইংলিশের চর্চা এবং ব্যবহার বাড়ানোই হচ্ছে আমাদের এই আয়োজনের মূল উদ্দেশ্য এছাড়াও কুইজের মাধ্যমে মেধাবীদের মেধা ঝালায় সুযোগ তো থাকছেই ইংলিশ ফর ইউ অনুষ্ঠানে প্রিয় দর্শক আজকে আমরা চলে এসেছি ঢাকার মগবাজারে অবস্থিত বিটিসিএল আইডিয়াল স্কুলে যেখানে একজাক শিক্ষার্থী রয়েছে ক্লাসরুমে এবং ক্লাসরুমে রয়েছে মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন যিনি একজন আমেরিকান নাগরিক এবং আমেরিকান ইংলিশের চর্চা এবং ব্যবহার নিয়ে ক্লাসরুমে উনি বিশদ আলোচনা করবে কিন্তু তার আগে আমরা জেনে নেব এই ক্যাম্পাস সম্পর্কে বিস্তারিত প্রধান শিক্ষকের মুখ থেকে লেটস টেক আলু পিটিসিএল আইডিয়াল স্কুল এই বিদ্যালয়টি সাবেক টিন টু উচ্চ বিদ্যালয় স্কুলটি স্থাপিত হয় উনিশশো শিশুটি সালে বাংলাদেশ ডাক ও টেলিযোগাযোগ বিভাগের অধীনে এই বিদ্যালয়টি পরিচালিত হয় আমাদের বিদ্যালয়ে শিক্ষক কর্মচারী সংখ্যা তিরিশটি জনে উন্নীত হয়েছে আমাদের বিদ্যালয়ে পর্যাপ্ত পরিমাণ ছাত্রছাত্রী রয়েছে ছাত্রছাত্রীরা লেখাপড়ার পাশাপাশি সামাজিক কর্মকাণ্ডে জড়িত রয়েছে এই ক্ষেত্রে বিদ্যালয়ের শিক্ষক শিক্ষকীরা লেখাপড়ার পাশাপাশি তাদের সামাজিক কর্মকাণ্ডে জড়িত হওয়ার উৎসাহ প্রদান করে থাকেন এসএসসি পিএসসি এবং প্রাথমিক অর্থাৎ প্যাক পরীক্ষার ফলাফল অত্যন্ত সন্তোষজনক আমরা বিগত সাত বছর যাবৎ প্রতিটি ক্ষেত্রেই শতভাগ বোর্ড পরীক্ষা পাশ করে আসছি ফলে বিদ্যালয়টি জাতীয় শিক্ষা সপ্তাহে পরপর তিনবার শ্রেষ্ঠ স্কুল হিসাবে স্বীকৃতি পেয়েছে এবং আমি মোহাম্মদ মজিবুর রহমান প্রধান শিক্ষক হিসাবে পরপর তিনবার শ্রেষ্ঠ প্রধান শিক্ষক হিসাবে নির্বাচিত হয়েছে স্কুলটির চল্লিশ শতক জায়গার মধ্যে প্রতিষ্ঠিত স্কুলের সামনে একটি বিশাল খেলাধুলার মাঠ রয়েছে শিক্ষার্থীরা তাদের লেখাপড়ার পাশাপাশি শারীরিক এবং মানসিক বিকাশে এই মাঠে তারা তাদের কো কারিকুলার অ্যাক্টিভিটিস কার্যক্রম সম্পন্ন করে ছাত্রছাত্রীদের অনুপাতে যথেষ্ট ভবন রয়েছে একটি ছয়তলা ভবন একটি পাঁচতলা ভবন একটি তিনতলা ভবন এবং একটি দ্বিতল ভবন মোট চারটি ভবন রয়েছে ধন্যবাদ এবং কৃতজ্ঞতা প্রকাশ করছি আর টিভি ও ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার প্রতি কারণ তারা শিক্ষার্থীদেরকে উৎসাহিত করার জন্য ইংরেজি শিক্ষা যে প্রোগ্রাম করেছে তারই একটি অংশবিশ্বাস আজকে বিটি এস সি এল আইডিয়াল স্কুলে একটি চমৎকার একটি অনুষ্ঠান উপহার দিয়েছে এতে শিক্ষার্থীরা অনেক উৎসাহিত হয়েছে এবং আগ্রহ করে তারা অনুষ্ঠানটিতে অংশগ্রহণ করছে বিদ্যালয়ের পক্ষ থেকে এবং শিক্ষার্থীদের পক্ষ থেকে আর টিভি ও ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকাকে আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি পাশাপাশি কৃতজ্ঞতা প্রকাশ করছি ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু দ্য ক্লাসরুম অ্যান্ড ওয়েলকাম টু ইংলিশ ফর ইউ ইন পার্টনারশিপ উইথ আর টিভি আমরা চলে এসেছি ক্লাসরুমে কেমন আছো সবাই আমরাও ভালো আছি এই ভালো লাগার মুহূর্তে তোমরা যে এ টু জেড ওয়ার্ড বুক বইটি পেয়েছ স্টুডেন্টস আজকে আমরা বেশ কিছু সময় একসাথে থাকব এবং অনেক কিছু শিখব ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার ইংরেজি বিভাগ থেকে তোমাদের জন্য অনেক কিছু শেখানোর জন্যই আজকে আমরা এসেছি এবং আজকে তোমাদেরকে শেখানোর জন্য এখানে উপস্থিত আছে তোমাদের সকলের ইংরেজি শিক্ষক মাহফুজা আক্তার এবং একই সাথে তোমাদেরকে আমেরিকান ইংলিশ নিয়ে আলোচনা করে শেখাবেন মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন উড ইউ লাইক টু ইন্ট্রোডিউস ইউর সেল আর ইউ গাইজ রেডি টু লার্ন ইংলিশ I'm excited to teach you guys. My name's Jacob Berlin, and I'm an English teacher from America. Let's get started. Thank you. Now, I'm going to tell you about the first time I'm going to tell you about Mahfuza Akhtar. Ma'am, would you like to say something about English for you? How are you, everybody? Fine. Okay, we are excited today, isn't it? Yes. Yes, so today we'll learn English from the English. Uh, every day we teach you English, but today we will learn English from the English. Okay, so we are very much excited today, yes. isn't it? Okay, let's go. Thank you so much. Students, we will see the first video in the first video. We will see the first video in the first video. Okay, we will see the first video in the first video. Hello! Washington, D.C. has many tourists. 
people from different countries come here. Today, my job is to interview tourists. I have to learn why they come here. This is very exciting. Excuse me, I'm Ana Mateo from the news. Do you have time for an interview? Sure, I have time. What is your name? My name is Sabrina. What country are you from? I'm from Bangladesh. So you are Bangladeshi? That's right. My nationality is Bangladeshi. Do you like Washington, D.C.? Yes, the city is very beautiful. What do you like to do in Washington, D.C.? I like history. So I like walking around and looking at all the monuments and memorials. They make history come alive. Washington has many monuments and memorials. The Washington Monument is behind us. Which is your favorite? Uh, I really like Lincoln Memorial. It is very beautiful. And it feels like Abraham Lincoln is still alive. Awesome. Thank you for your time, Sabrina. You are welcome. Let's find another tourist. What country are you from? I am from Bangladesh. Now, you try it. Oh, excuse me. I am Ana Mateo from the news. Do you have time for a couple of questions? Sure. Are you from Washington, D.C.? No, I'm not. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Louis and I'm from China. What languages do you speak? I speak Chinese and English. What do you like about Washington, D.C.? I like the museums. I really like the art museums. Many of the museums are free. I like that too. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Louis. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. Now, let's find another tourist. What languages do you speak? I speak Chinese and English. Now, you try it. Hello, I am Ana Mateo from The News. Do you have time to answer a couple of questions? Sure. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Mernoush. I am from Iran. I'm Iranian. What language do they speak in Iran? Is it Persian? They speak Farsi. What do you like to do in Washington, D.C.? I like learning about government and politics. Washington has many politicians. It does. I want to see the U.S. Capitol. Look, you are very near. I am. Have fun. Thanks. There you have it. Tourists from all over the world come to Washington, D.C. They all like doing and seeing different things in the city. This is Ana Mateo reporting for The News. Until next time. Students, have you watched the video? Yes. Properly? Yes. Carefully? Yes. OK. Ma'am, would you like to explain this video for the student? OK. Um, in this video, we can see Anna Mathieu, a reporter. She is uh, taking interview different tourists in the Washington, D.C. And uh, she is uh, asking them where are they come from and where, uh, what is their language uh, and what is his, their likings. Hmm. She is asking them by asking different questions. Do you understand it? Yes. We, we can know from this interview, the likings of different tourists. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Students, do you want to say KOT summary? Do you want to say KOT Raise your hand. Okay, at first you. In this video, we can see uh, a reporter from the news 
Her name is Anna Matteo. She is interviewing some tourists and she is interesting, interested to know the tourist hobbies and why they came here and what is their languages, which is place they will see, want to see. And she is very exciting, excited to know that. Okay, thank you. আমরা তো এই ভিডিও সম্পর্কে জানলাম আমরা কি আরো জানব ওকে কথা না বাড়িয়ে চলে যাচ্ছি আমাদের পরের ভিডিওতে হ্যালো আই এম জন রাসেল হোয়াট ডু এমবিএস এন্ড পিএইচডিস হ্যাভ ইন কমন অর হোয়াট अबाउट द ইউএসএ অর ইউএই অর 315 এন্ড 545 many ideas might come to your mind but one that i would like to explore today has a connection with stress saying something louder or in a higher pitch mba phd usa and uae are all abbreviations short forms of many words what do abbreviations have to do with pronunciation you ask in general americans stress the ends of abbreviations so for example College degrees such as MBA or PhD have stress at the end MBA PhD The same idea holds true for country names the end of the abbreviation gets stressed USA UAE American airports almost always have three letter abbreviations so you will often hear about LAX or JFK Remember I asked you about times at the beginning of the video or 3:15 and 5:45 Americans also often stress the ends of times so that is why the 15 in 3:15 and the 45 in 5:45 sound louder 3:15 5:45 That's all for today Keep up the good work. Students, have you understood the second video? Yes. Clearly? Yes. Stress. Jethi ke bangla hai bale chap. Kotha bala shumai kon jage chap di chho, sheti rupo nirbhar kore kintu puro bhashar ortho pori bortan hoi jete pare. Now, I would like to uh, listen from Mr. Jacob Berlin. Great. So, we learned about intonation. If you want to sound like a native English speaker, You have to pay attention to your intonation, where you put stress. And today we learned about two areas that Americans stress. Someone is studying for their MBA. Americans stress the last part of an abbreviation. Listen to me and then you repeat after me and try to pay attention to your stress. MBA. 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 Do you see how we're stressing? We're saying a little louder the A. MBA. MBA. Good. Okay, you guys are getting the hang of it. Same goes for um country abbreviations. USA. I'll say it then you can repeat after me. USA. 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 Perfect. Okay, the other one is times. Maybe class starts at 915 we will stress the last number 15 915 you hear how you're saying 15 a little louder 915 915 all right perfect you guys are beginning to sound and stress your words like americans good job okay students would you like to explain this video when we pronounce mba we make stress on last word a when we pronounce or say a time we will stress on last word like 915 perfect thank you very much very good okay amra duti video dekhe felam ebong duti video theke amra besh kichu bishoy shikhechi tumra ki aro shikhte chao yes ebare আমরা চলে যাব আমাদের পরবর্তী সেশনে পরবর্তী সেগমেন্টে ইনফ্যাক্ট পরবর্তী সেগমেন্টে আমরা বেশ কিছু বিষয় নিয়ে আলোচনা করব ইনফ্যাক্ট আমরা আমেরিকান ইংলিশ এবং ব্রিটিশ ইংলিশ নিয়ে আলোচনা করব এই ইংলিশের মধ্যে যে টপিকগুলো নিয়ে মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন আলোচনা করবে তার মধ্যে রয়েছে স্পেলিং 
pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar. Mr. Jacob Berlin, please start. Great. As you guys know, there are different types of English throughout the world. So to help you prepare for going abroad and speaking English like a native English speaker, we're going to discuss the differences between American English and British English. We'll cover four topics, spelling, pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar. Let's get started with spelling. So, British English and American English. Spelling differences. One word that we spell differently in British English and American English is counselor. In British English, the word counselor has a double L. American English, just one L, a single L. And this is true of many of the words in a British and American English. A lot of times when you see a double L in British spelling, it's a single L in American spelling. Pronounced the same way. Similarly, somber. Have you ever heard the vocabulary word somber before? Somber means like very serious uh, matter, somber. He's a very somber person. American spelling ends in E-R. Another common uh, pattern you'll see in British and American English, uh, the differences in spelling. R-E, words that end in R-E in British spelling often end in E-R in American spelling. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Can you think of any spelling differences in between a British and American English? In British English, we pronounce honor as H-O-N-O-U-R. But in American English, uh, we spell uh, honor as H-O-N-O-R. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's a good spelling difference. You can sit down. So we covered spelling. Now let's look at pronunciation. One of the common differences in pronunciation of British English and American English is the vowel A. For instance, in British English, we say ask. I'll, I'll say it and then you repeat after me. British English, we say ask. ask. American English, ask. Yes. Okay, here, let's look at another uh, A. After. In British English, we say after. after. American English, after. After. So you're starting to see some of the differences in pronunciation. Now I want to hear from you guys. Can you guys uh, share any differences in pronunciation? Yes. In British English, we say afraid. And in USA English, we say afraid. Very good. Thank you very much. I'll show you uh, two common vocabulary differences and then I'll ask you for some examples. One is what we eat with. What do we eat with? In British English, we say cutlery. If you're sitting at a table, you can say, pass me the cutlery, please. In American English, we say silverware. Please set the silverware on the table. Okay, that's one difference. And another common difference is uh, the headmaster of your school. That's a British vocabulary word, headmaster. In American English, we don't really like that word master. In American English, the headmaster of the school is called the principal. So if you go to school in America, you'll refer to him as the principal. In the UK, you will refer to that position as headmaster. Okay, what about you guys? Any examples of vocabulary differences? In British English, we say flat, but in American English, we say apartment. Perfect. Thank you very much. Good. Okay, one of the common grammar differences between British English and American English is the use of pronouns. For instance, when you're uh, going to see your friend during your weekly holiday, in British English, you can say, see you at the weekend. But in American English, we say, see you on the weekend. You guys repeat the sentence after me. See you at the weekend. See you at the weekend. In America, see you on the weekend. See you on the weekend. 
Very good. Okay, another common question you can ask your friend is, "Do you live in this street? Do you live in this street?" In American English, you would say, "Do you live on this street?" I'll say it, then you repeat after me. Do you live in this street? Do you live on this street? So there are a few subtle differences in the use of prepositions. So I hope you guys learned a lot about the differences between British English and American English. Back to you, Mashu. Thank you so much. I'm Ronnie Kitsu Shikla, Mr. Jacob Barliner Katsi. Come on, Lakshya Tomade. যদি শেখার এই ধারাবাহিকতা তোমরা অব্যাহত রাখতে চাও তাহলে নিজেদের প্র্যাকটিস করতে হবে অনেক বেশি এবং একই সাথে ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার এ টু জেড যে ওয়ার্ডবুক বইটি রয়েছে সেটির পিছনে ওয়েবসাইট রয়েছে এবং আমাদের স্ক্রিনেও সেই ওয়েবসাইটটি দেখানো হচ্ছে যেখানে গেলে তোমরা পাবে অনেক অনেক ভিডিও যেগুলো থেকে তোমরা অনেক বেশি প্র্যাকটিস করতে পারবে এবার আমরা চলে যাব আমাদের আজকের প্রোগ্রামের সবচেয়ে ইন্টারেস্টিং সেগমেন্ট একে অপরের সাথে আমরা কথা বলবো কিভাবে ডায়লগ করব কিভাবে। সেটি আমরা যাব পরের সেগমেন্টে এতক্ষণ আমরা বিচ্ছিন্নভাবে যে বিষয়গুলো শিখেছি সেগুলোই আমরা চেষ্টা করব এখানে একত্রিত করার ঠিক আছে ইউ গাইজ আর রেডি ওকে ম্যাম ওদের মধ্যে থেকে কারা কারা ডায়লগ বলবে ওকে হু আর ইন্টারেস্টেড অল অফ ইউ দিস ক্লাস ভেরি মাচ ম্যাম হু উইল বি দ্য ফার্স্ট পেয়ার ওকে ইউ ক্যান বি দ্য ফার্স্ট পেয়ার হাই নাজিফা হাউ ইজ গোয়িং হে অহনা ইজ গোয়িং গ্রেট হোয়াট অ্যাবাউট ইউ আই এম ডুইং ওয়েল What are you doing there? Nothing much, but I just captured some amazing picture of nature. I guess it's your hobby, isn't it? Yeah, it's my ho- one of my hobby. I love to take photographs in my spare time. That's fabulous. Have do you have any another hobby? Yes, I have another one. It's cooking. In my free time, I love to bake cakes or cook some traditional foods. I want to mention that your hobbies are stunning. Okay, tell me something. When you paint a picture or dance, how it feel? That's an incredible question. So, when I paint a picture and it goes exactly what I want, it feels so satisfying. And when I dance, it feels carefree. It's mind-blowing. Okay, thank you. Can I have a look you the pictures you have captured just now? Sure, take a look. Hey, this one is very eye catching. Uh, can you give me this? I will paint it for you. Absolutely, I can. I will send you I will send you soon. Okay, then it's getting late for home. Bye. See ya. Reach hope you reach home safely. Goodbye. Take care. Ma'am, who will be our second pair? Our second pair will be this bench. You, stand up. Stand up. Hmm. Hey, Samina, what's going on? Fine, what about you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Uh, are you thinking about any matter? Yeah, I'm thinking how can I reach to my goal. What's your goal? I want to be an agriculture officer. Uh, why did you choose it? Because, uh, you know, our country largely depends on agriculture and uh, I love gardening. It uh, gives me pleasure. I like it very much. Um, I understood you have to work hard from now and you should uh, read attentively. Yeah, so I started my journey by the maintaining um, my daily routine. I want to be a teacher. I love to teach someone what I know and I also love to gain knowledge. That's great. Uh, it's, uh, it's going too late and I have to go now. Can I go? Yes, you can. Bye. Goodbye, Sanjaya. See you later. Which pair are upcoming now? The third okay, pair? Uh, the third bench will come in. Yes. You stand up. Hello, Anissa. How are you doing these days? Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm preparing myself to take admission in University of California beside my study. But here in class 10, you have to complete your HSC level first. After completing your HSC level, you should be thinking about your future. You shouldn't worry about these things right now. No, I have to prepare myself from now on because I have some few exams in the future and they are IELTS and SAT exams. In that case, you're right. And if you're thinking about your future from now on, then I think you should give it a try to Bangladeshi universities before thinking about studying abroad. Uh, I think you are all right. 
thank you for your advice and your precious time. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Ma'am, call our fourth pair. Yes, that fourth bench will be the fourth pair. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Rafin, how's your day? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing well. What about you? Well, by the way, school have been closed for summer vacation. I have planned to be to go Cox Bazaar on vacation. But going to Cox Bazaar may be risk in this time because there may be strong. Can you suggest me some beautiful and safe places? Um, let me think. You can go to Bandarbon because this place is very interesting and fabulous. Sounds good. I'll discuss with my family. See you again. See you again. Bye. Bye. Ma'am, who will be our fifth pair? Our fifth pair will be from boys. Yes, you stand up. Hmm? Hey, Anand, what's up? I'm fine, and you? I'm also fine. By the way, where are you going right now? I'm going to coaching center, and you? Oh, I'm going to play cricket in the field. But why are you going to coaching center right now? It's afternoon, Anand. It's time for playing. I agree with you, but you know our exam is knocking at the door. Well, you know health is wealth? Yes, I know. We should keep fit our body and mind by playing so that we can take well preparation for our exam. Well, what's about our study? All subjects have been taken well preparation. And you? I have taken a quiet preparation in all subjects. Since you complete your study, uh, you can go with me in the field to play cricket with me. I have an exam today. Oh, okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Students, what was the dialogue dialogue session? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Did you like it? Did you like it? Yes. Did you learn a lot about it today? 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 Did you learn a lot about it mentor, Mr. Jacob Barlin. So, what do you think about it today? Did you learn a lot about it today? Did you learn a lot about it today? Did you learn a lot about it would you like to say something about English for you today's program? Thank you, RTV, uh, for arranging this nice session. And I think our students are greatly benefited from this uh, program. And I wish you will come again to our school and our students will participate more and more. So we'll uh, thank you for giving this book. And I think they will read it. And you will, uh, your brother has said that uh, uh, there is some link huh, to learn this English and everybody will learn this and everybody will um, follow this your instruction. Thank you very much. And we are also lucky to get you here ma'am. Thank you so much. Mr. Jacob Barlin, now it's your turn to say something to the student. Thank you guys so much for paying attention to the lesson and participating. I can tell you guys are excited about learning English. So I want you to go home and practice what you learned with your friends. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Students, Mr. Jacob Jeta said, did you say that you were going to do a lot of work? Yes. You were going to do a lot of work today. Thank you very much. Dear students, this is our work today. We are going to do a lot of work today. We are going to learn how to learn English in Bangladesh school projects in Bangladesh. Dear students, we are going to do a lot of work today. We are going to do a lot of work today. We are going to do a lot of work today.